Nippon Paint Medifresh, a powerful combination of zinc, iron and silver. I must first thank you and the Japanese government for all the help you have given us in this economic crisis. President Raniel Wickremesinger expressed his regret to the Japanese government for the suspension of the Colombo light rail transit project, which was being implemented with Japanese support. During the official meeting in Tokyo this morning between President Raniel Wickremesinger and Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, the president emphasized the need for future legislation in the parliament to ensure that bilateral large-scale projects cannot be halted or cancelled without the agreement of both parties. The Prime Minister of Japan warmly received President Raniel Wickremesinger, and bilateral talks commenced after a friendly conversation between the two leaders. President Raniel Wickremesinger expressed his gratitude to Japan for its support in helping Sri Lanka recover from its economic crisis thanking the Japanese Prime Minister for his assistance. The leaders also discussed new opportunities to enhance cooperation between Japan and Sri Lanka. We would not have been able to have started with restructuring so fast without the help of Japan. So on behalf of the government and the people of Japan, I would formally like to thank you and the government of Japan. We have made headway, uh, remarkable headway as far as the infrastructure is concerned. Uh, we've been talking with all the editors, even China has now joined in on the talk, both on the Twitter talk. They also have bilateral talks with us, but not of a major uh, concern since it seems to be more uh, ritual of uh, ensuring that they keep to their positions that there should be separate talks. But we told them that there will be no separate treatment and all parties will be treated at night. So I am, uh, I should be able by September or November the latest to conclude the debt restructuring talks. So that would mean the end of that phase of Sri Lanka's uh, economic crisis. And we have to go ahead of it. And again, I have come here to formally express our regrets over the manner in which uh, relations with Japan were conducted in the last few years. Before I came, after long discussions in cabinet on the option, we will now bring a law to parliament where mega projects like the projects that involve the LRK and others once has to be tabled in parliament and there has to be annual reports of progress and it cannot in any way be amended or cancelled unless there is agreement on both sides. Meanwhile, President Raniel Wickremesinger met with Japanese Finance Minister Shunaki Suzuki to discuss Sri Lanka's debt restructuring and the International Monetary Fund's program. Subsequently, President Raniel Wickremesinger met with Japanese Foreign Minister Yoshimasa Hayashi, focusing on strengthening long-term bilateral relations between Sri Lanka and Japan, including increased cooperation in economic and cultural fields. Additionally, President Wickremesinger and former Prime Minister of Japan Yasuo Fukuda participated in a breakfast meeting organized by the Japan Sri Lanka Association in Tokyo. During the meeting, President Raniel Wickremesinger briefed the former Prime Minister of Japan on the ongoing economic recovery program in Sri Lanka. The President highlighted the favorable investment climate in Sri Lanka and extended an invitation to Japanese investors to return and invest in the country. Furthermore, a meeting was held between the former Prime Minister of Japan, Taro Aso, and President Raniel Wickremesinger, focusing on potential steps to strengthen the existing close and friendly relationship with Sri Lanka. 
President Raniel Wickremesinghe also engaged in bilateral talks with Singapore's Deputy Prime Minister Lawrence Wong in Tokyo on the same day. The President reaffirmed Sri Lanka's commitment to implementing the Singapore Free Trade Agreement during discussions with the Deputy Prime Minister of Singapore. For more latest news, subscribe to FTTV.